بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد. Man came to Amir al-Mu'minin. He looked very pale and yellow. The Hadith says, وكان في وجهه صفرة. So the Imam said to him, "What is wrong with you? You look very yellowish." He said, "Yes, I have this pain that I'm going through. I am sick." The Imam said to him, "Inna la nafrahu li farahikum. We rejoice when you are happy, wa nahzanu li huznikum, and we are saddened and heartbroken when you are sad." ندعو لكم we pray for you فإن دعوتم أمنا على دعائكم and if you ever pray we say آمين آمين how could the Imam not pray for his followers when we think of him when we pray for him brothers and sisters the Imam of our time is a lonely stranger how much he suffers when he sees his followers being oppressed, only Allah knows. Imagine a father or a mother seeing their children being persecuted. How much that hurts them. Well, Imam Rida says, Al Imam Al Abu Shafi Wal Akhu Shaki. The Imam is a merciful father, a loving brother, a mother to her children. But what's even more hurtful is the Imam seeing us committing sins that might contribute to the Imam's occultation to be increased, to be lengthened. Imagine. God forbid, brothers and sisters, the Imam of our time <clears throat> is like one who is imprisoned. Imagine if my actions contribute to his prison term increasing.